All right, everybody, it is Tuesday, November 27th, 2018, and it is week 13 in the NFL, so it is that time of the week when we should go over our week 13 NFL pick 'em uh, choices, so let's just jump right into the video, and thank God there are no more bye weeks in the NFL. Every team's had their week off, so we get 16 games for the remainder of the year, even though it's only like five games left, but... We get all 16 games, so enjoy that. Um, all your teams will be playing. All the players are in. No fucking worries in fantasy football. If it's still going on, I really don't know. So let's get right into Thursday night football. We have the Dallas Cowboys hosting the New Orleans Saints, and I'm pretty sorry, Cowboys fans, but you're not you're not winning this game. Your like current winning streak of like three games has been against I think like the Titans. Um, uh, last week you beat the mighty mighty Colt McCoy led Redskins. And uh, some other team that no one really knows. So, I mean, it's not like you're beating good teams to get to a 6-5 and five record. Um, the Saints, on the other hand, have beaten numerous good teams like the Vikings. You know, uh, I believe they've beaten the Rams. So, it's like, come on. Let's let's be realistic about what's going to happen. The Saints will probably win this game around 34-17. to 17. I don't really see Dallas being able to do anything against the Saints offense. And I don't really see Dak Prescott doing much against the Saints defense. I like, uh, like I said, I like 34 to 17. I know most Dallas fans will not appreciate this, but sorry guys, I really still think your team's a 500 team. They haven't really beaten anybody to prove it to me otherwise. Oh yeah, the Falcons are also in your winning streak. You beat a 4 and 7 team. Congratulations, what a great team. All right, let's go ahead and go to the 1 p.m. games. You're not beating the Saints. That's all I have to really say. They're too good. All right, um, we have the Baltimore Ravens and the Atlanta Falcons. And the Atlanta Falcons, the aforementioned Atlanta Falcons, they're four and seven. The Ravens are six and five, and I really, even though this game is in Atlanta and Atlanta's got a home field advantage, blah blah blah, I don't really think it matters. Even if the Ravens go ahead and start Joe Flacco or they start Lamar Jackson, I really don't see that being much of an impact in this game. If they start Lamar, they'll probably score in the 30s. But I'm going on since Joe Flacco can return this week, he's probably going to start. So I like the Ravens winning this game 27-20. to I just am not impressed by anything Atlanta's done this year. Julio's not scoring. It's whatever. I just don't like the Atlanta Falcons at all in this game. Ravens will win pretty handily 27-20. Um, and then we have the Cincinnati Bengals hosting the Denver Broncos. And I'm sorry, Bengals fans, but if you have Joe Dreskel and Tom Savage playing against this Denver Broncos defense, your pro 10 points, I think, is being very generous to you to the Bengals. Um, I think 20 to 10 will be the final. I think the Broncos have scored more points than that, but I'm not really trusting that offense. Both teams are five and six. Both teams really need to win to like keep their season alive. But with Andy Dalton not playing, the Bengals really don't stand a chance in this one. So 20 to 10, Broncos win pretty easily. I might add on the strengths of their defense. Um, and then we have the Los Angeles Rams going to Detroit to play the Lions. And as much of as much of a Lions fan as I am, this game's not going to be close. Our secondary is awful. Our rush defense isn't that much better than our pass defense. The Rams are going to have a field day with the, with that receiving core. Jared Goff's going to pick us apart. Um, Todd Gurley's going to run all over the place, and if not, his backup will do just fine. Lions will probably lose this one about 35 to 17. Hopefully this leads to the offensive coordinator of the Lions being fired. Um, probably won't. I don't know. Hopefully Cooter's fired after this game. Uh, the Lions will fall to 4-8, and eight, whatever. Their season's already over because they still have to play the Saints as well. Sorry, guys. It's not a good season for us. But we have the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah, you know, they'll win pretty handily. Not, they're a great team. You know, they're doing their thing. I think Tlaib will even be back. There's rumors he's going to be back anyway. Plus, they're off a bye. There's no way they're losing in Detroit, so... All right, and now we have finally the Arizona Cardinals and the Green Bay Packers. The Packers are at home. They'll win this game. Packers fans, you guys will win this game. No worries here. I'm not even going to trash your team. You're going to beat the Arizona Cardinals rather handily. Um, your team's going to look good doing it. You're going to win. go to 5-6-1, six, and one, and you know, you're going to keep your season a little bit alive here. Congratulations. You're, you're finally back home where you'll get a win. You don't have to worry about playing a team on the road this week. You don't have to worry about your team struggling to win games on the road. You don't have to worry about being 0-6 on the road this year. You're at home in Lambeau where it's nice and safe. Good job. Um, 
They'll win 24 to 7 over the struggling Cardinals. Not really much of a game. Um, in this game, I actually had a little bit of trouble picking, but then I really thought about it and I was like, wait, what? Why am I even thinking this game's going to be the way it is? The Browns, they're a good team. They're on the road. They they've like won they've won once on the road this year, I think. They're not winning games away from Cleveland, so I I really don't see them going to an eight and three team that is Houston and beating them in their home stadium. I just don't see it happening. Cleveland's good. I'm not trashing them. There's nothing negative to say. They're having a good season compared to the last two even combined. So, you know, I, I like the Houston Texans winning 30-17. to 17. This is a big game for them. They kind of have to go to 9-3, and three, so they have a lot of momentum going into that Colts game the following week. Hopefully they're not overlooking the Browns, but I think the Browns have played well enough this year where they're not being overlooked anymore by everybody. I, I don't think the Texans are a dumb enough team to overlook the Browns, but we'll see. This has trap game written, written all over it for the Houston Texans. I could see where people might think this might be an upset, but I just don't see. I really, we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm iffy about this one. It's a trap game. If you're a Texans fan, hope your team isn't playing um, and thinking too far ahead to that Colts game, but we'll see. All right, let's go to the rest of the 1 p.m. games. Um, like I said, the Texans will win 30 to 17. Now we have the Colts hosting or heading down to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. Cody Kessler starting for the Jaguars. They're a goddamn mess. Everybody's getting fired. Um, I like the Colts winning this game pretty handily and pretty embarrassingly. I might add on the Jaguars, 31 to 15. There's not much really to discuss. Colts are just a much better team. They're a much hotter team. The Jaguars are a literal dumpster fire. They need to figure something out at the quarterback position fast to maybe save something this year. I don't. Or they're probably going to just lose out and draft a quarterback. <laughs> it's the Jaguars. They're not. It's, it's they stink. I can't believe they're that bad. But not much to say about the game. We know the Colts will win pretty handily, 31 to 15. Um, now the Dolphins will play host to the Bills in our next 1 p.m. game. Um, this game, ironically, I actually had a little bit of trouble with because for whatever reason, the Bills play like a good game and then a bad game, then a bad game. So like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I, I'm pretty certain the Dolphins are going to win this game 28 to 17. They played really well against the Colts last week and they left with a very nasty taste in their in that mouth. So they were going to be hopefully they're going to play with some sort of chip on their shoulder. If you're a Miami Dolphins fan, they need this win to stay alive this season. So they're going to play with hopefully some sort of edge, maybe. It's the Dolphins, so we don't know. Um, I see them winning this game about 28-17. to 17. You know, they'll win. I don't know what the score will be, but I don't see the Dolphins really pulling this off in Miami. Not in Miami. Maybe if it was in Buffalo, I'd call it the other way, but in Miami, Miami's got the edge there. And then the Chicago Bears are heading to the New York Giants. I'm not even going to really the, – the Bears are winning the fucking game. They're going to destroy the Giants. They have no offensive line. Eli is going to be hurt. It's not going to be a pretty game. The Bears are going to destroy this Giants team. I'm not. I'm done with the Giants. I'm sorry if you're a Giants fan. Your team really pissed me off with the Eagles. I was rooting for them. I was actually saying, you know, win out, run the table. No, it's over. Bears are going to beat the shit right out of you, 28-17. to 17. I hope it's uglier than that because it's the Giants. Go Bears. Represent the NFC North the best you can. I'm glad it's not the Packers because they choke every time. Represent the North the best you can, Chicago. Give them hell. <laughs> I hate the Giants so much. Um, and then we have the Carolina Panthers uh, heading down to Tampa Bay in what should be a pretty good offensive game. Um, I might be lowballing what the score is as both teams' defenses have played atrociously the last couple weeks. You know, they're just not been, you know, the Lions won a game against them. The Steelers scored 50 and they gave up 30 to the Seahawks. It's like, all right, the Panthers defense is horrible, but they're playing a team with an even worse defense than themselves. The only reason they look good is because they were playing the 49ers yesterday. So like the Bucks are whatever. Um, I like the Panthers winning this game in a shootout 35 to 28 could be like a 42 to 45 type game. If we're being really honest, I'm, I'm, kind of lowballing the score for whatever reason because i just am being whatever about it but yeah the panthers will probably win 35 to 28 shootout yeah only reason it's so close is because it'll be in tampa bay other uh, otherwise it'd be pretty nasty all right let's go ahead and move on to some of these 4 p.m games just four of them today actually four of them yeah because we have all 16 games this week uh the kansas city chiefs will head over head down to, or head over to oakland and play the raiders um 
I don't know what's really to say about this game. The Chiefs are off a bye, so they're going to be super prepared. The Raiders stink. Um, yeah, I, the Chiefs are going to win by a lot. They're going to probably score 40 points. Raiders will struggle to sc score 20. This is going to be about a 42-20 to 20 game. Um, I might be a little bit exaggerating on how many points Kansas City will score, but this is going to be ugly. I like the Chiefs all day. Give me the Chiefs 42-20. to 20. Not much really to say about this game. Just look at the records, and that says it all. Um, the Titans will play host to the Jets in what should be a pretty easy win for the Titans. Could be a trap game for this team, and if they do lose this game, they're out of the playoff hunt, in my opinion. Um, the Jets, they're already out. Who cares? They're just playing spoiler, so they could play with a little bit of heart. I don't know if Darnold's going to play. I wouldn't risk him at all for the rest of the season. There's really no reason to. 3-8, and going to play for him to get hurt. Um, not really. Not a good idea. So, you know, whatever. He's already thrown a lot of picks. Kind of give him, you know, let, let him rest. Uh, I like the Titans winning this game 20-17. to Should be an easy win. The Titans are at home. Whatever. Jets stink. I, I whatever um the minnesota vikings then traveled to foxborough to play the new england patriots and i'm sorry minnesota fans i'm giving you a lot of respect by saying you'll score 28 points and keep it close against the patriots but i really don't think that i'll say 31 to 28 for you know appearances and to look good but and the andy dalton of the nfc isn't going to come into new england come into foxborough and beat us it's not going to happen um it's going to be embarrassing what happens to your Vikings team. Um, I just, it's not going to happen. Good luck with your average ass quarterback who fumbles the ball a lot. Can't win a big game. I think that was his first ever goddamn primetime win was against the Packers because he's a choke artist. Um, but he was playing a team that can't win on the road. Like he couldn't lose that game. So it's whatever. I, 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 I can't really say much. The Vikings are a good team, and I actually like them, sort of. So it's kind of weird for me to be like, oh, they stink ass. Fuck them. They're just not going to win. Kirk Cousins isn't going to come into Foxborough in December. Or, well, the, yeah, it'll be in December. Yeah, that's not happening. Game game goes to the Patriots, 31-28. You can bank on that. You can bet on it. Patriots will win this one. Um, and then, of course, I don't know why I have this as a low-scoring game. I'm taking this into account for someone who named Dean, who's also a part of like the channel. He does the live streams with me. Um, he is very nervous about this game, so I'm going to heed his warnings on it. I'll say the Seahawks will win this game because they're at home, but I'll say 19-12 to 12 just to heed one of my buddy's warnings on it. So give me the Seahawks winning this game, 19-12. to 12. And again, not much to say about it. Seahawks are just a much better team than the 49ers. They can't, the 49ers can't score points. That's their biggest problem. They don't have their quarterback or their running back. They're on like quarterback number seven or some shit. Whatever. Uh, not much hate. I can't really hate on the Niners. They're a busted up team. Everyone's hurt. Seahawks, not much excuse. You guys got to be better than this. Let's go to Sunday and Monday Night Football. Sunday night, we have the Los Angeles Chargers heading into Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. And I actually was not sure about this game. This game took me 10 minutes to think about. I had to go over a bunch of stuff. I had to consider, you know, AFC West stuff, you know, losing to the goddamn uh, Broncos. Embarrassing. Both teams did. Um, Chargers lost less to the Broncos, so that's why I'm picking them. No, I'm just kidding. I just like the Chargers as a team more than I like the Steelers. I think the Chargers are going to be playing up to the Pittsburgh Steelers level, but I don't know if the Steelers, especially the last couple weeks, are going to be able to match that. I'm not sure what's going on in Pittsburgh, but something isn't right right now, and I think the Chargers are going to take advantage of that on a Sunday night in Pittsburgh. I know, this is a weird pick, and I just have a feeling... The Chargers are a lot better team than people think they are, and I think this is going to be their statement game this year. Every team needs a statement game, and I believe this is the Chargers' statement game. If the Chargers aren't favored in this game, take this as my upset pick then. I like the Chargers. I'm feeling something with them in this game. 30-24 to 24 over the Steelers. No disrespect to the Steelers. Something just doesn't feel right, considering the last two weeks they've struggled to put points up. So, we also have then Monday night in a game that's going to stink. Uh, the Washington Redskins traveled to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. Um, I don't think Colt McCoy's a starting quarterback, so I don't think they're going to win on the road. But I could be wrong. I don't think so, though. These these two teams are so evenly matched, it's not funny this year. You know, due to injuries or what have you. And 
the, you know, the Eagles had this weird slow start and they're kind of struggling to get something going on offense, no chemistry. So, but I think the Eagles at home will take this They They play well there. So 21 to 17 Eagles will win chargers will win, uh, you know, whatever. So let's go over my 2018 NFL season pick em record. I'm 99, 72 and two. Hopefully on Thursday, um, we get that win and you know, the team we picked to win actually, you know, does the thing and wins. Um, I actually sort of forgot who I picked. Uh, okay, it's the Saints. Yeah, so we should be going to 100 wins on 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 Thursday night, so that won't be a big deal. I'm actually relieved. So by Thursday, I'll have 100 wins because the Steelers or because the Saints are going to destroy the Cowboys. So those were my picks this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. I'm 99, 72, and two on the season. You know, so I'm pretty credible. I miss sometimes, but, you know, everybody does. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I post uh, daily. I post content pretty regularly. I do a lot of NFL-related live streams. It's a fun time. Um, you know, thank you so much if you watched Week 12 and, all, and you know, were a part of that video. Also, please make sure you comment your picks down below. I'll make sure to comment on them, and then in a week I go back and see how we both did. I comment on every single thing. Or I leave a comment back to every single thing people comment. So, you know, I use the comment section very heavily. So you can see in videos past hundreds of comments on the videos because I like to talk to you and see what you think of the video, what you guys might think of my picks, what you guys just think of my overall picks. And like just football in general, just share your comments about the NFL, what your picks are, what you think of the season so far. You know, who's going to win the MVP, some stuff like that. Just anything. I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as I can in the comments. Um. Thank you guys so much. It's helping the channel grow. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Hopefully your team wins this week. Unless it's the Packers. Screw them. I'm just kidding. They're going to win this week. They play the Cardinals. Have a great rest of the day. This has been Rob. Thank you for listening to this DRTV presentation. Have a great day.